Danielle. Um, show is up and running now. We've had press night and previews and it's all going really, really well. And I'm sure you're all enjoying the uh, spring sunshine as well. Uh, yeah, really, really enjoying myself and, you know, the cast are absolutely fabulous. And, yeah, the show is fantastic. Loving it. Thanks for your question, Jack, Sophie and Katie. Um, yeah, it feels amazing to be able to perform every night and sometimes twice a day on the Palladium. And so many fantastic and phenomenal people have performed there before me and it's just an amazing legacy and it's got such a beautiful history about it and yeah it it really is a magical stage to be able to perform on um, and just to look out into the auditorium is magnificent so yeah it's absolute joy. Jane and Lila have asked what it's been like to work with Michael Crawford um, all I can say is absolutely hilarious. He is such a wonderful man <laughs> and he makes me laugh every single day. Um, yeah, he is great, great fun, brilliant performer, full of wisdom and knowledge and just above all a great, great friend and colleague. A few of you have asked what role I aspire to, to play after Dorothy um, and the answer is anything, you know. I'm, I've always been, I've really liked the um, sort of Latin American, quite Spanish parts, which obviously, you know, I probably might not be able to play. Um, but I am absolutely adore um, Next to Normal, um, written by Tom Kitt, and I just, I would love, love, love to play Natalie, and I think it'd be a really nice transition from this. But who knows what's around the corner, and who knows what doors will be there, so I just hope that I get the opportunity, you know, to move on from this, and and carry on working in this industry because it's been so fantastic so far. And yeah, so really looking forward to what's next. Ryan has asked how long it takes me to transform into Dorothy. Um, I wouldn't even say I transformed into anything. Of course we have the half and you get into hair and wigs and makeup, but the whole process of finding Dorothy and finding all of our characters have been through rehearsals and previews and I think now we, we've all got a really good understanding of who these characters are and I don't think that it's about putting on a character necessarily, it's just about um, sort of being with that character and, and bringing some of yourself into it as well so I don't necessarily think you know we all change into our characters. Lucy's asked me what my first thought was when I won over the rainbow. Um, to be perfectly, perfectly honest, I couldn't tell you. It was the craziest, craziest moment of my life so far. Um, I could try and imagine what I was feeling. It was just, oh, uh, oh what, what's next? Like, what, where do I go next? What, what's tomorrow? Because we'd all been living in the Dorothy house in London. And obviously the, on this evening, the programme was over. So it was almost a do I go home now or do like like what happens what do you do do you just go home and and put on the television and go to sleep or you know do you and obviously you know we did lots of press and everything the next day but it's that kind of okay so which direction is my life going in now the next day and that was really kind of the starting point of of the rest of my life really and that was really really exciting really exciting